Finally at six, we've spent months waiting for it, but we finally have it. Spring is here. And Mike Stevens found the proof in the PhotoLink library. Winter was a long-term visitor, then stayed a bit more, as in this image from Betty Goodwin in Shavertown. Eventually, the daffodils won the day and the season. The spring thaw settled in and we met it with open arms. Joe L. saw proof of it in Scranton. Shehawken Lake Sunrise at Starucco from Jeanette Weselowski, and we welcomed the new days with pleasure. Ah, fresh open water as seen here thanks to Brian Ruda on Lake Wallenpawpack Sunrise. And Hetzel took a walk along the Susquehanna River in Williamsport and found it wide open. Here again in Williamsport, Morgan writes, spring has sprung. But there were other signs of spring. Ryan La Barbara of Drum sent one, small but important. And in New Columbia, another small visitor captured my Alicia Kruger. In the sky overhead, some sights that signaled a new season. Michael Smith saw this one in East Stroudsburg. Maybe features like the one that Aerith Zelowitz found overhead in Dushore are around in winter. It's often too cold to look. From Diane Bender in Shemokin, an extra feature provided by the sun, along with its warmth. Warmth that allowed nature to take its course. Amber Jones found a blooming weeping willow in Wilkesbury. Dino Langus caught lupines in bloom for a fresh spring look. All lovely sights for sure. We will leave you here, I think, at an old schoolhouse in Equinoc on a promising spring night caught by Cat Bischak. Let's hope spring keeps its promises. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.